Hello viewers, welcome. Let's start another episode on just ended WASI private candidate examination. This is the edition for uh, January, February edition. So we are dealing with the past question section B, where we have the first part, the first three terms of an arithmetic progression AP are giving us x plus 5, 13, 5x minus 3. We have to find the value of x in there and the 22nd term of the sequence. Remember, AP is dealt or built on with common differences. Meaning that if I have the first term to be 3 and the second term, let's say 5 and 7, we can find the common difference between them. That will help us find the next term of the sequence. So the difference between this will be 5 minus 1. 3, with the answer will be equals to 7 minus what? 5. So if this is the first term, the second term, and the third term, the difference between the second term and the first term should be the same as the difference between the third term and what? The second term. All is giving us what? 2. So this is what is used to build on the arithmetic progression. As you progress on, you find the common term. So this simply means that if this is our first term, second term, and the third term, same uh, uh, analogy can be derived and find the common difference. So here, we can say that the sequence is given as x plus 5, 13, then 5x minus 3. These are the terms of the sequence. So we know to find the common difference. which is denoted by D. We know your D is going to be the third term minus the second term should be the same as the second term minus what? The first term. So what are the terms? First, second, third. So the third one will come for here first as what? 5x minus 3 minus all this minus the second term, which is what? 13. That should be equals to the second term which is our 13 minus the first term, which will be x plus what? 5. All right, let me put this also in bracket. You can see here that this bracket will have no effect. It is just minus 3 minus 13. So I should be having, let me put this as implies. So this will give you 5x minus 3 minus 13 will be minus what? 16 equals 2. This is going to be 13 minus x. This is minus 1 in front, multiply a positive x, give you negative x. Therefore, negative 1 here, multiply the positive 5, will also give you what? A negative what? 5. So you can see we have two terms, uh, three terms at the right, two terms at the left. So we can easily group the like terms out and see how we can do that. Let's bring the x to where the 5x is, so that give us 5x, if the x which is negative cross, it become positive, as if we transpose that, let that be equals to, remember, this is 13 positive, remain 13, this is uh, minus 5, still at the right, so minus 5, minus 16 on the left, when it transpose, it become positive for 16. So what do we do now? We can see that 5x plus 1x will give you 6x. So I should be having 6x equals to, if you have 13 minus 5, that should be giving you 8, right? And 8 plus uh, 16 should be 24. So I should be having 24. I need the value of x. So I divide by the coefficient of what? x. So divide... by what? 6. So therefore, 6x divided by 6, 24 divided by 6, x will be equal to what? 4. Hence, the sequence. What is the sequence? We are having the first term to be x plus 5. So x is 4. 
four plus um, five will give you nine. So we have nine, 13. The third one is going to be four times five, 20. 20 minus uh, three, that will be 17, right? So let's see if our common difference will be right. The common difference in this case is going to be, let me use this one. This is four plus uh, five, nine. Nine from here will be four. So four plus nine, 13. 13 plus four, 17. So that gives you the range you are looking for. Then let's go for the B part. All this we found our X to be four. The B part is asking for the 22nd term. Remember the nth term of a sequence, which is AP, is A plus N minus 1 times what? D, where A is the first term. So what is the first term here? So in this case, where N is going to be 22, which is the 22nd term we are looking for, then your A is the first term of the sequence, and the D is a difference between them. So let me say 17 minus what? 13, and that will be 4. So let's do substitution and see. So 22nd term equals to first term 9, the N is going to be 22nd minus 1 or 22, times D, which is what? 4. Let's proceed and have 9. In here will be 21. So 21 times 4, that will be 84, right? I mean, here is going to 21. 21 times 4. So we have our 81, no? 84, right? Uh, 84. So let's see what that would mean. If we take away 6 here, we are going to have 93. So we don't have space. We have to indicate. Therefore, the 22nd term of the sequence will be 93. I guess the concept build up from here and how to find the common difference is also understood. Alright. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe.